Well, guys, we have some news on a WWE legend, a, a Hollywood legend at this point. That boy had been going crazy over there. But, yes, I am talking about Dave Bautista. And uh, he went on the record and said he misses WWE. One of his dreams is to go back, go through that entrance ramp, and do mm. WWE again. But there's one thing stopping him, and it's that story ending that he got with Triple H, and he feels like he will never be able to replicate that again. Obviously, Triple H, you know, is on a pacemaker, so we will never see him in the ring neither. But uh, the fact that he's getting this itch, bro, it seems like these wrestlers can never put this itch down. Never. <laughs> and they always got to do something just to suffice the itch just a little bit. So, Kenny, would you like to see Batista back in WWE? What I like to see Batista back in WWE, Brian, is a great question because I would actually like to see Batista make his way to AEW and join Team Sh Team uh, Shane McMahon. But in seriousness, yes, I love Batista, and I definitely want to see him come back because wrestling was kind of in a tough state when he was in there, like when Evolution started. Like that's when all of the um, Attitude Era guys was leaving. But I think those guys, Batista, Randy Orton, and John Cena, they came through and did the best they could. And I think they did a great job because they kept things afloat. So I respect Batista, and I did not like when he came back and people were disrespecting him because they were mad, calling him Blue Tista and stuff. So... Yes, I would absolutely like to see Batista come back and do one more run in WWE because the guy was really good. I mean, he started when he was older, much like Diamond Dallas Page, but you really don't see guys thrive like he did when, they, when they're when they coming in at an older age. So that's the answer to your question. Yes, bring Leviathan back. Okay, figured. What good enough. But yes, he did come during a tough time. It was like, bro, at that point, they were still trying to force Roman Reigns down down our throats. Pause on that. But then oh, no, no, also... I'm talking about his original, like when he first debuted. I was about to say, you were born back then? Oh, you like talking, came back oh, you're talking about back then. I'm talking about his last actual return. Yes, yeah, his last one. That was Remind rough. Me, though, refresh me. What happened? Like, what, what was Bro, that? his jeans. He, he has some tight jeans, bro. The jeans ripped. It was bad, bro. <laughs> it was bad, bro. The Royal Rumble, every he got booed out the building. The the paper the year right before Roman Reigns got booed out the building as well. Like it was one of those like super nut situation, bro. With where he was just being very disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we know Batista is a legend in the WWE and you know in wrestling in general. It was just tough to see at that point. Now, I can see why he doesn't want to come back or wouldn't want to come back, but at the same time have that itch because, bro, what he went through, that's almost like traumatic, like as a as a, as a veteran, as somebody who, yeah. you know, was well-respected in the game and come back to that return is just very surprising. When I, I remember when Batista came to WWE, I was doing a science project, bro. I was watching that episode, sitting on my <laughs> couch, and I, I was happy because I'm like, oh, shoot, Batista. But the way they mm -hmm. followed up, was very odd. And I think right now WWE is in such a spot where they don't cater to part-timers no more because Triple H is obviously the guy running the show. I feel like if Vince was was possibly there, maybe uh, it would be a little bit more viable. But then again, we don't know that. So I don't even know how Batista would be treated in, in, in a situation like this. You know what I mean? So it, it definitely would be uh, something else. But here you guys see, man. I just the the, the transformation with his nuts too, bro. I mean, lost some weight. Yeah, he <laughs> so. definitely has lost some weight. He's not the same no more for sure. Mm -hmm. It'll be a different Batista if we get him, definitely. But you know what? <clears throat> guys get older. So what? I mean, he's uh, he's not as big as he was before, but he's still in shape. So I'm sure he can get in there, and he'll, he'll look great while he's out there. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, I think I think he'll definitely do his thing. I think it's something that we got to just let play out. But if he does come back, can he, like, who would you like to see him go against? Like, what, like do you have a dream match, like, with Batista? You know what, Brian? I was about to ask you the same question because the landscape has definitely changed in 100%. WWE. You look at the guys we got now. Like, um, honestly, if he came back, I would put him in there with a Randy Orton because if you think about the new crop of guys, you could put him in there with Roman Reigns, but I don't really think that helps either of them out a bit. Um, of course, Randy Orton wouldn't help him either, but you got that story behind it. So if we look at the new set of guys, I just don't know who I'd put him in there with. Not Damian Priest. Do agree. I mean, I I would probably put him in against like Cody Rhodes or something. Have him beat him. Mm, have Batista beat Cody Rhodes? No, have Cody Rhodes beat Batista. Yeah, you could have Cody beat Batista. I mean, I guess. Um, you know the whole legacy thing that was with Randy Orton, but did they ever have run-ins with Batista? I don't think so. I mean that that whole 
that whole thing. I just feel like he would be in uh, so out of place in today's WWE. Ah. Like, you got somebody? I got it. Who? Who is on their final run in 2025? John Cena. Huh. John Cena. You get Batista in there. You could pair him with John Cena. I remember he had the promo after he lost to John Cena. He was in the wheelchair. He's like, I quit. I quit. Took the glasses uh, off and threw him. He got thrown I mean, over the thing at, what was that, over the limit 2011, I think it was? Yeah. <laughs> that was bad. That. <laughs> I mean, I think um, I think that'll be a good pairing. John Cena comes out and says, I already beat everybody. I'm back for my run or whatever. Batista comes out, you know, you got skinny Batista, you put him up against John Cena, you can have a big match at a SummerSlam. I don't think he'd do it at a WrestleMania, but it'll be pretty cool for a SummerSlam, maybe Money in the Bank or Survivor Series. So I guess that's my guy. What do you got? If I had Cody to... Rhodes is your final? Nah. If I had to put Batista in a match at this point in his career, bro, I, I, I mean, it would probably be Cody or Randy for me, simply because it's like that's probably like they were around at the same time. I just don't see myself putting him against somebody from like the modern era of WWE because right now it's like, like I said, it just it would feel so out of place for Batista to come back because it's definitely not like the old days. Like when Vince McMahon comes in, was there, he had his group of guys. Batista could come in and 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 still be able to to be there and not feel out of place. But there's so much new talent mm-hmm. now. Like you got the Sami Zayn's. Like Batista wasn't around when Sami Zayn was here. You got you got Sami Zayn. You got Braun Breaker. You got Carmelo oh. Hayes. You got all Ooh. these new guys, LA Knight. Come on, man. These you know are guys I mean? with booty cheeks. You naming guys who are booty cheeks. Yeah, but the, this is like the this is like the future. Like this right. is new. That's you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, man. I can't I personally it would be either Randy Cody or John Cena. I would have to go on ahead and double up on that with you. Because per, anything else I don't see him doing uh with any new guys. Unless he comes in and he's like, I just want to put it, I just want to put some guys over. Yeah. Then that's a whole different story where I could I could I could see Carmelo Hayes. I could see them putting him in putting him in a spot if he were to come back and Batista agrees to put some guys over you. So. I don't I, think so. I mean, yeah, that that would pretty much be it for me though. Like it, it's tough to say, bro. I think he's out of place at this point. Man. So The Rock is 52, Stone Cold is 59, Batista is 55. So, I mean, he is an older guy. So, I think if you bring him back, he's got to be protected. So, what I would do, in fact, this is my final answer. Okay. I'm going John Cena Randy Orton and Batista in a triple threat legacy uh, end of an era match at WrestleMania. Much like you did with oh, the Undertaker. I don't see that. Triple H. Come on, man. Much like you did with the Undertaker, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. You had all three walking out, holding each other like, this is the end of our era, boys. If we did an end of an era, it would be these three guys. So I mean, I can see, though, because they came in at the same time, so it would be dope to see. But don't do that at WrestleMania, bro. I don't want to see that. I want to see a mean? John Cena one-on-one match. And Randy with Orton's, who at WrestleMania? What who is John Cena going to put a banger match on with at WrestleMania? I can Gunther, Cody Rhodes, you know what I'm saying? I can see all what that. Randy Orton, Randy Orton one on one. Randy Orton one on one with John Cena is cool, but John Cena, Cody Rhodes, what are you going to put Cody Rhodes over John Cena at WrestleMania? No, no, I would put John Cena over Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. To win the championship. <laughs> to win the championship, bro. Do it up. John Cena Let's 2025. You know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, now we talking. Let's do it. <laughs> so now we just kick Batista out of the picture again. I guess put him in there with Randy Orton. Yeah. That's the final move. <laughs> but we going to catch y'all. Let us know down below if y'all want to see Dave Batista in WWE again. We going to catch y'all. Kiss that ring.